Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and I have not been on my YouTube for a while. This is my husband Jeff and he is being a really good sport <laughs> and joining me today for a YouTube. We wanted to come on here and talk about our first two weeks in a travel trailer with our one, two, three Yorkies and one Siberian cat. It's been pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeff is actually holding Alfie and Lola is next to him. I think our cat is hiding under the dinette in our camper and um, Poppy is still acclimating. So she's actually in, um, we'll call it the master bedroom. It's really just like the, the upper part of our fifth wheel. Um, so really quickly, we just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about what we were expecting with um, traveling in a travel trailer and what the reality of it is. Okay, so the first thing is we thought that we were starting out in a certain way. We had chosen a particular brand of travel trailer and that travel trailer did not work out at all. So um, one thing that's different for me than what I was expecting is that we're in a totally different rig. Um, we still own the first rig because the company hasn't taken it back, but we can't be in it. So um, we are in our second travel trailer um, I think we spent a total, I spent like four nights in the first travel trailer. It's in storage. We went and bought another travel trailer. We bought an ATC. Um, it's an aluminum toy hauler. Um, pretty big, 36 foot trailer. And um, it's not quite as pretty as the one that we had chosen, but it's healthy and we're actually able to be in it without like respirators or anything like that. So mm -hmm. we're really liking that. Um, and I think from Jeff's perspective, it's... It's a little sim. It's this very simple trailer. Uh, everything's pretty straightforward, easy to use. It tows really good. Um, and everything's really pretty easy to hook up. Setup's quick. Um, had a couple issues with it in the very beginning that we got worked out. Yeah, they were like very small issues. Like um, the toilet was clogged when we first got it. We think that maybe when it was sitting on the lot, people might've been using the bathroom. We're not really sure. It may not have mm -hmm. been the dealership or maybe the first owner didn't properly empty the black tanks or something like that. But we were able to resolve it by calling a really nice business in New Hampshire who gave us some great advice and Jeff did it himself. He also repaired a few small things, but overall, um, this trailer has been exactly what we thought it was going to be. So it was advertised as a certain way. And it's really just, it's just that. It's been really healthy for me. The breathing, like the air quality has been amazing. Um, the dogs and the cat have really enjoyed it. And mm -hmm. overall, we've really, really liked this trailer. It's got a lot of space and we feel like we, if we want to, we can be in separate rooms. We can both be really comfortable. I know, so when I was picturing having a trailer, I definitely, in the very beginning, thought, and I don't know, I think a lot of people think about taking their pets in trailers. Like, we've looked around the parks, and I would say 50% of people seem to have dogs. I haven't seen a lot of cats, but of course they're inside most of the time. Um, but when we thought about traveling with our pets, we, you know, we wanted something that they could be comfortable in, that we could get them across the country. And I will say that when I first thought about traveling, I thought we would be able to go places. And then I really realized that we didn't want to leave our pets alone. So we might leave them alone for a few minutes when we're taking a walk or something like that. But I think I thought we were going to be going to the gym together and stuff like that and just realize that safety wise and also for temperature we really want to be around them and make sure that they're okay so it's not a big detriment for me i've got weights and i've got things that i can do in the trailer but we don't usually really leave at the same time so we're in the travel trailer but definitely because we have pets we want to make sure that the trailer stays to temperature if there were ever a power outage or something we wouldn't want our pets to be alone i think we're limited a little bit not that we're upset about it but in how much we can do because you know we we need to bring our pets with us in their stroller or in the car and always have them with us so that they're safe so that's one thing that's a little bit different i think for me um Anything that has surprised you about our first two weeks in travel trailer that's been like a learning experience for you? Nothing crazy. Um, Jeff's an Eagle Scout, so I guess there's no surprises <laughs> when you're an Eagle Scout. Uh, <laughs> nothing major. I mean, other than a couple, couple having to fix a couple things, figure out how to set some things up, a couple water valve things I needed to kind of figure out which one goes where and how it works and... 
Other than that, it's been pretty yeah. simple and straightforward. We've only had the trailer for two weeks. Yeah. So, so not really any surprises. Like, I would say one thing to expect, whether you get a new trailer or a used trailer, um, and all my friends that have, you know, RVs, trailers, whatever you want to call them, say the same thing, that you usually have to iron out some small things in the beginning, um, be it like little fixes, tightening up different hoses, and so it's good to take some time to be still and not moving, so if there is, you know, a small problem, you can fix it pretty easily instead of, you know, getting on the road and having everything fall apart. Um, I will say that, you know, the thing that happened with our initial travel trailer would have been so much worse if we were already on the road. We were fortunate, even though it didn't feel like we were fortunate, we were fortunate in that we were close to home, so we were actually able to stay with my mom, and if we had been on the road, it would have been a disaster. Um, one thing that's different than I pictured is initially we bought a travel trailer that um, was advertised as having a lot of solar. Um, even though we actually didn't find that the solar produced as much solar as we thought it would, um, who knows, maybe it's because of what we were doing. But anyway, that trailer we were planning on boondocking a lot with and being on BLM land. And um, we didn't really feel like we could have done it with that trailer anyway because we were having trouble running our fridge on the solar. Um, but this, this travel trailer doesn't have any solar. So we're really not planning on boondocking with it. So it's a little bit different in that we were kind of picturing having more remote locations and we're finding ourselves in RV parks. Um, but one thing that I just wanted to say about RV parks is that all in all, I've thought that they were a really nice experience so far. I mean, just like with any other place, you do get all kinds of people, but mostly you find a lot of really nice folks who are also just, you know, wanting to enjoy the outdoors. They're very friendly. Um, we've had a lot of people that are always willing to help us. Um, really, really nice kids that want to see the pets and things like that. So overall, I've really enjoyed the people at the RV parks, and I do, generally speaking, enjoy people, but it's been a really nice experience to just get to meet people from all parts of the country um, that are just in a very social mood. I consider myself to be an introvert. I would say Jeff is probably more of an extrovert, um, but <laughs> I guess Alfie needs to be here. He's got his pampers on as well because he does like to potty in our trailer. Um, so anyway, I've actually enjoyed the RV parks a lot more than I expected. And I also find that I think that the pets really enjoy it too. So it's really cute to see every time we get to a new park, um, they're really excited about the new park and going on a walk and, mm -hmm. you know, seeing what's going, looking out the screen door, things it's like that. It's a little that. adventure for them. They like it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, Another thing that I'm just telling my, my things that like expectations versus reality. So when you're on Instagram or YouTube, I feel like you see people and to me, they're like looking good in their trailers and it's like beautiful and it's always scenic. I definitely feel like I have just constantly lived in almost clothes that I would sleep in. Like I just like to be as comfortable as possible when we're in the trailer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like whatever you would want to change into when you're done with work, when you're relaxing, that's what you really want to wear when you're in a travel trailer. So I definitely think I, I packed pretty well. I packed minimally, but I feel like I would really barely bring anything nice in a travel trailer because you're really just wearing things for comfort. Um, you don't need anything fancy. You could maybe have like one slightly dressy outfit. Even jeans just feel like, even like je jegging jeans feel like a prison to me in a travel trailer. Yeah. I've had shorts and a t-shirt on for yeah, two Yeah. Jeff now. has been wearing Lululemon the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's all right though. Yeah. Yeah. You just want to be comfortable. Feel good. Get a husband like that. that knows how to fix things as well. If mm. you don't already have one, get a husband that knows how to fix <laughs> things. Like Jeff is definitely managing all the tough parts of our travel trailer. And um, and I am doing the easy part most of the time. Although I do the cleaning. Um, I've been doing the laundry mostly and things like that. But Jeff does all the setup. I just move some things around. Sometimes not even that. But um, anyway, and he's just been helping me a lot because I did have a health difficulty after spending a little bit of time in that first trailer so he's been really supporting my health as I just get my strength back and you know work on feeling good again too mm -hmm. um feeding you good yeah feeding me great foods and everything yeah um he's been grilling a lot which is awesome um 
I feel like, you know, a positive thing is really realizing how little things you need in your everyday life. So we brought, I think, very little with us, but, you know, we'll look through and don't mind. There's, of course, we're in a park, so there's going to be noise as people, I don't even know. Oh, it's a trailer driving by, I think. So anyway, it, you know, we brought very little stuff, but even still, it's interesting to see how even when you have very little stuff, you still don't always use it. So I've been making little notes about what I would actually bring for another trip because I think you need a lot less than you than than you think. True. Yeah. yeah. Like don't go out and buy a million things if you're going to get a travel trailer because you might not need all of it. Um, just curious, but guys, have you ever stayed in a travel trailer before? Have you thought about it? Are you watching this video because you are part of my channel or are you actually thinking about traveling in a travel trailer as well? And if so, what size do you picture yourself in? Um, Jeff and I are really enjoying this 36 foot trailer. It's so nice, it's so comfortable. We don't know that we will always travel in such a large travel trailer. It has its pluses and minuses. Um, it's possible that someday in the future when we have a house, we might like, kind of more zip back and forth in a van or we might keep a really big travel trailer so we're just exploring um, also if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so so one thing that did surprise me with being inside of a travel trailer is that I was picturing constantly having all of the windows thrown open and one thing that kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop is how high the humidity is we were just in New Hampshire and at night the humidity is like 90 to 100 percent and obviously if you have humidity levels like that you could or will have mold problems so we have had to close our windows more than we thought we also had to buy a dehumidifier um, those were just little things but things that I wouldn't have thought about so if you do think about getting one do consider getting a dehumidifier um, because you run into those issues sometimes mm -hmm. and you want to keep your healthy environment healthy and um, you know take care of those things um, we also initially had added a couch to the back of it and we wound up taking that out. It was a little bit too um, a little bit too much stuff in the back of it and we find that we like it a little bit more airy. So it's interesting. I will say for me personally, there's been a big learning curve working about what materials work inside of a travel trailer um, or learning rather about what materials work inside of a travel trailer um, and just figuring out different things like what to pack, what's good for eating, the best way to clean them and things like that. So I'll probably be making some videos about that as we learn. Um, the other thing that has been challenging is internet. So we haven't found a good internet solution yet. I think we're gonna get Starlink, um, but it's been really challenging. So anyway, everything is, we are loving this. It's been amazing. Um, we're just getting traveling. So this is really just like one of our first practice trips we came to Maine just to have the experience get the pets used to it um, one really nice thing just for those of you that do have pets um, and are thinking about traveling um, I think it's very possible and your pets can be really comfortable and happy in a travel trailer so the first move that we did I would say was probably the most traumatic because they have been through a lot with the first trailer not working out and then being at my mom's and you know trying to be at a few Airbnbs and things like that so when we you know this is a toy hauler so we kind of like put all of the things up to the side and then we move and the first day everybody was really on edge to be moving like the cat I think he meowed non-stop on the way to Maine um, but the second move which was super super small we moved like 20 minutes today to another park in Maine and that was don't even think about barking no 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 <laughs> um so that was a lot easier the second move was a lot smoother um and honestly all the barking and getting upset had happened at the very beginning of the first trip so I think with each move the pets are going to get a little bit more comfortable with it and it's really really nice that after a move we come back to this trailer where we have all of the familiar things for the pets so instead of you know taking your pets we we tried to think about how to get to Scottsdale which is you know where we think we're going to wind up and for me I knew that if we drove the pets across country they were going to be so stressed out and this was a really happy medium to have you know the bed that they're so used to their feeding bowls the cat's litter box and things like that so if we're going to have a long drive day, we can actually stop at a rest stop, let the pets into the travel trailer, make ourselves some lunch, and then keep going. 
Um, and when you have pets, that's really important because there's we have four, so there's no way that we could fly with all of our pets unless we fly private, and let's face it, that's a lot of money. Um, so this is just a really good option for us to get across the country mm. with all of our comforts, with our pets, yeah. to get to see some sights and slow down and things like that. Um, yeah, and we're both just really super excited to have this opportunity because at the beginning of the summer, it really didn't go well. Our first purchase was, um, wasn't what was advertised. It was really disappointing for us. And so to have this great travel trailer now and to be able to go across the country just feels so wonderful. We're both really happy and grateful to be spending time together and having this adventure. So we're going to keep documenting it as we go, but we just wanted to to talk a little bit about the surprises. I'm just trying to think if you had any other, I, I don't think you had any surprises with, like we had the, the surprise was the other travel trailer. Like we thought it was super healthy and things and it turned out to be that we couldn't even sleep in it. So that was like our big like reveal that we didn't expect. Mm -hmm. um, with this one, we really haven't had any surprises. I guess I was just surprised by how easy it was for Jeff to tow it, how comfortable it's been, and also how the little things, like there is kind of a weird, graphic back there it's like adventure awaits and there's funny little things that aesthetically were not what I wanted and even though I would still change them if I could they don't really bother me that much because the most important thing is being comfortable and happy and just seeing the pet so happy and and Jeff is like able to just relax a little bit he's got his golf here which we're, we're going to be letting him watch in a few minutes because he's <laughs> being so gracious and making a YouTube video with me um, but I think also, um, I don't know if I'm surprised, but I think like all in all, Jeff and I have really gotten along really well in a small space. And especially considering the stress that we had this summer with everything that happened, like we definitely had our little, our up and down moments, but all in all considering, I think we've really worked as a team and Jeff has worked super hard to take care of me and the babies and just make this the best summer ever. So just wanted to give you guys an update. That is our experience of living in an ATC toy hauler travel trailer so far, our first two weeks traveling. It's been really it's fun. Been fun. So, so well, far. Yeah. Wow. That was so far. He's going to like drop me. He's no, gonna it's going to, it's going to, the next month yeah. is going to be a lot of fun as we move west, eventually northwest and then through some really cool spots down into Colorado. So yeah. It's going to be fun. Making little videos and everything too. So feel free to also follow along. I've been posting on my Megan Graham Fitness Instagram a little bit. And um, thank you so much for joining us. It was fun making a video again. Um, it is not the most, I don't know how to say it, like filming in a trailer is not like my whole setup that I always had with lights and with all the things. But I think that that is the thing with life. Like everything isn't always perfect. And the most important thing is just to kind of like, get on in the moment <laughs> I'm like shoving <laughs> Jeff into the camera when he sits back into the dark but anyway to just like get on be real and um just share your experience and everything and also share that everything isn't always perfect because that's just the way that life is but if something doesn't work out for you like our first one didn't work out for us um I think personally that's really important just to keep going don't give up on your dreams. Like we really wanted to travel. And even though in our minds, that one was like, in my opinion, that one was a complete dud. I don't know how to say it. The fact that we couldn't live in it. I don't think it's a popular thing for us to share the just, fact yeah, that we didn't like it, but disappointing. I, I think you can say your opinion that something was a dud. No, it's an opinion. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, we couldn't stay in it. So, I mean, I don't think they would probably like for me to share my opinion, but it is what it is. This one has been really great. We didn't give up. We found one that did work, that met our expectations, and, um, yeah, was, was safe for us to be in. So we're really enjoying it, and um, hope you guys will hop on and watch more of our videos soon. Thank you so much. Feel free to comment below and say hi. Bye, guys.